today we are going to look at continue on error so i have, i was looking at google there are so many people who would like to get a practical example or a real time example of continue on error where should i use so looking at this most of you know there are so many activities in ui path for example if i take click activity on the right hand side you have the property panel where you see continue on error so have you ever used this property or do you know when exactly you have to use this property because this is not relevant on every case so you should know where exactly one should use this property okay so anyone who is looking for such an example so this video is going to help you myself rakesh from ui path expo hub channel anyone who is new to our channel please do subscribe and please do like the video that you are watching that motivates the team and we will continue to help you by placing so many other videos which is going to help in your ui path journey so with that note let's get started and understand continue on error in detail okay so this is one of the activity i have shown but there are so many activities which has got the continue on error on the property panel okay now to understand this example we will take a very classic situation if i ask you to capture temperature of various uh, uh, cities of india okay so this is the task so generally if i ask you what you should do you will go to google right and if i ask you if i have given you four or five different city names um what you generally do let's say for example goa so you will say goa temperature so this is what you type manually or do it manually and you will capture this particular temperature then i'll ask you okay do it for bangalore so again you will type and you will capture the current temperature right so this is what you will be doing in a manual way now if i ask you to automate this and create a small bot which would capture all the temperatures okay so we'll create a mini project and try to understand how continue on error is very helpful in such a scenario now to keep it simple i'm going to use a assign activity and i'm going to create a string array called city name okay so i've created city name the moment you create a variable the best thing is to you come back to the variable panel and because by default it will get selected as string right so i am going to change it to array and make it string done first task is completed now the second task i have to assign couple of cities so i'll put curly braces double quote and i'm going to write very city name let's say goa then let me write something called bengaluru and also knowingly i am going to write a city name which does not exist for example i am going to say no such city okay i am going to write a wrong name and I, again after that i am going to continue with a proper name let's say mumbai okay so these are the four different names i have written and one knowingly i am making putting a wrong name which is which your google will not be able to show any results so i am writing it wrongly just to show you or demonstrate how continue on error is going to help you okay so this is done so the array is created what is the next thing i should open the browser okay so i have the names then i'll open the browser and the browser is the url is www.google.com okay and i would like to open this in chrome so i have selected that now the next thing i want to loop through all the city names so i'll use a for each activity below this below this open browser activity okay done and here i am going to use the city name the which contains the array of cities right all the cities this is this array of string which is containing all the city names including one wrong name okay i'll loop through so now all the names one by one will come to this variable called item so item is going to capture goa then bengaluru then that no city then mumbai so one by one okay now the first thing it should do is type the city name in the google page so what is the google page here so initially when you type www.google.com 
this is the page which would come right this is the landing page now here what i'm going to do click on indicate on screen and I'm going to highlight this particular space and here i'm going to say item which is nothing but the city name give a plus sign and within double quotes give a space and then type temperature so that is how you generally type right so goa space temperature so this is what is going to type it in google and once it types it what is the next thing i want to do i want to use the enter key so I'll use the enter key okay done um, so there is a now your for each loop is going to deal with string kind of a data right so ensure if you are getting error ensure you are changing the type argument to string okay with that the error should be vanishing okay done now once you type the city name for example i'm going to type goa temperature this is the word it's going to type and hit on enter this is the page which would come and from here i should capture the temperature okay so for this you can use the activity called get text and i'm going to click on indicate on screen and highlight this specific element done and the output will be stored in a kind of a string variable so i'll say control plus k and i'm going to say tmp stands for temperature let's say okay i've created a variable called tmp and you can see the tmp variable has the variable type string automatically because it's a get text activity okay so any activity you are learning you must know what is the output and what kind of output will come is it a string type integer boolean what kind of output is coming what what kind of output is being captured that one point you should continue to learn okay done now get text activity is done now next to that i want to write this output somewhere right so let me use a write line activity quickly and here i am going to say uh, the city name is in item then i use a plus sign and i am going to say goa that is hyphen the current temperature is put a colon mark okay this is how this is how whatever sentence you want to write and then give a plus sign and i'll use the variable called tmp so the tmp variable is going to write the entire sentence for me okay so once this is done i'm using an assign activity just to make that whatever let's say temperature variable got the value 29 i want to erase it so i will say tmp and i'm going to say no value so every time it completes writing the data then it will again go to pick the next city by the time it will become no value then again go pick the next city find the temperature and have a new value okay so the loop will continue so now what is the problem that you are expecting here so the first problem would happen so you, you see the moment i am running it the landing page will change the next time when it is going to type bengaluru okay let me stop it another point you need to remember anytime you are using type into activity always go for this empty field so you wanted to type in an empty field you don't want to continue what is being typed right so ensure you select that let me run it now so there are a couple of um, error what i am going to expect one is the landing page which has come for goa now when it is typing for bengaluru it will not have the same landing page so there could be an error okay so how do you fix that we will see it so now you can see it is not able to type bengaluru so goa temperature it has captured but for bengaluru it is taking its time because it's going to throw you an error okay why because the landing page has changed if you see okay so you have to repair the selector i am going to show you how to do that so this could also be a learning point all right so let me just wait for the error message so every time there is an error it will you know it will take 30 seconds of time to see whether the ui element is available or not so until 30 seconds it will continue to it will try again right so it is continue to wait for that 30 seconds time period and after that also it could not find it then it will throw you an error so you can see cannot find ui element because the landing page has changed when it's typing bengaluru for the second time so in such cases what should i do you cannot skip this you have to address this error right you cannot continue on error so in such cases what i will do i have to first thing i have to do is i have to ensure i have to repair this particular one select up so you can see the title has written google so if i cl click on repair and try to indicate this page where it's supposed to type it will automatically repair 
the selector and you can see the entire google has shortened it to go and there is a star and there are a couple of other changes has happened in the page so click on okay so automatically it has repaired the selector so this is repairing the selector so one thing you have done you have, you have additionally learned is repair the selector clear so once this is done i am also expecting another error okay i am going to show you so let me close this windows all right and let's run it again this time it will capture the goa temperature is also going to capture bangalore temperature but when it comes to no such city right that is where we will have a trouble so let's see that okay goa temperature and it should capture the temperature okay so i think i'm expecting another error so it doesn't matter whatever the errors are coming we will try to fix them okay so there is still an error get text um cannot find ui element corresponding to the this section okay so this is also there is a selector problem over here so let's do one thing let's stop it sometimes you may find and you may not find so if that is happening for your selectors again we will repeat the similar option so i'll go to click on repair so you can see the title has got goa temperature that's why it is throwing an error so i'll click on repair and i am going to highlight this so the selector what it will happen you can see the goa has been taken off okay so everything else remain the same so you are repairing both the selectors now it should work so there's a intelligent way of repairing the selector so i have done that so now i am expecting it to capture both the city temperatures and should only throw an error for the third one okay okay now you can see it has captured now it is typing bengaluru temperature very good now it's capturing 28 now the third one where exactly we want to see continue on error so the third one that is the place where we will have trouble okay let's see okay so there is another error uh cannot find ui element um okay let's stop this again go to the selector okay now again it's try to rectify that one so let's run it again so anytime you find a problem uh, in the temperature um, in the selector all you do is repair it if you don't know how to manipulate the tags and attributes of the selector okay now you can see it selected no such city and there is no such field called temperature right it's not showing any kind of data so this is the place where it is going to throw you an error so when it when it throws you an error how do you rectify is by using continue on error because just because one city name is not found on google you do not want your project to be stopped completely you want it to continue right so only on those ideal situations you will be selecting continue on error so you should know what kind of project you are dealing and just by going through the continue on error if that is helping you then you should go for it so in such case get text span right this is where i am going to enable continue on error so last time it thrown me an error because it could not find no such city temperature and it could not capture the value that's why i am going to continue on error so that it will continue and go for the next data okay so let's see what is happening this time if i run it 
so i hope this example must have given you enough idea um, the continuum error of you know the practical example of continuum error so this is one of the practical example where i want to still continue even google is not able to find one of the city names still i would like to continue so here let, let it continue okay done captured temperature of goa then bengaluru very good now in no such city last time the project stopped because of that error now it should continue after 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 30 seconds time it should again continue to the next city which is mumbai all right just give it another couple of seconds okay now you can see it started typing the next value so it is a successful project right when i am using continue on error property in ui path so i hope this example is pretty clear and i hope you could also try on your system the same example just to understand how continue on error could help you in your project okay thank you guys thank you for watching this in case you have not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe so that you keep on getting new updates new videos that i am uploading every day on the channel and get connected to lot many people who are in the same journey to become a rpa developer thanks have a great day we will see it again on the next video thank you bye bye